Hi, this is Srinivas. Welcome back to my channel KSR English. Now we are going to discuss future perfect tense. Before moving on, please subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed so far. Thank you. Now, let us discuss future perfect tense. Okay. The structure is subject shall have or will have plus V3 plus object. Okay. Subject shall have or will have plus V3 plus object. Here in the condition, it denotes that an action will be completed at some point of time in the future. This is important. Okay. It denotes that an action will be completed at some point of time in the future. Okay. It's not completed. It will be completed in the future at the some point of time. Okay, that is important. But as, let us see examples. You can understand more. Okay. I shall have done my work before you come. I shall have done my work before you come. See, shall have. I. Okay. So, you shall have done. See, subject. I shall have. Okay. That's done. V3. Do, did, done. So, V3, my work, object, before you come. Okay, that is other word. See, he will have completed this work by next June. Okay, next. By next week, I shall have been here for a week. See, by next week, I shall have been here for a week. Okay. That means it denotes that an action will be completed at some point of time in the future. Okay, that is the best example. And one more, Anushka will have reached to the top position before she turns 40. Okay, these are the best examples for future perfect tense. Thank you.